We have a big update on the Simona Halep situation. Of course, she's on provisional suspension for being found for doping last year. And she's not going to be playing the Australian Open because her name is still on the provisional suspension list. But the judge that is overseeing the case has actually come out in, I guess, a positive way for Simona Halep. Let's go have a read of her statement. So this is the judge, Christian Jura, a Romanian judge who serves with the Court of Arbitration for Sport. They have come out and said, it seems that the method by which Roxa Dustat entered the athlete's body has been identified, namely by ingesting a contaminated food supplement. Contaminated product is a product that contains a prohibited substance without this being specified on the product label or an information accessible through a reasonable search on the internet. The athlete is still at this moment between the lifting of the suspension i.e. the removal of any sanctions and the four-year suspension from sports activity. The suspension can be reduced or even cancelled if the two conditions stipulated by the World Anti-Doping Code are cumulatively met. To establish very clearly the way in which the substance entered the body and the athlete's lack of intention to take the prohibited substance to improve sports performance. One of the conditions was met. It was clearly established how the substance got into the athlete's body. The athlete must also prove the lack of guilt or negligence. That is, the athlete or other person must prove that Simona did not know or suspect and could not reasonably have known or suspected, even by exercising the most careful caution that she used or was administered prohibited substances, or that they used prohibited methods. So there you have it. That is the latest on the Simona Halep situation, and it looks like a good sign. It seems like they're halfway to clearing Simona Halep's name. She's on provisional suspension as of now, and as you can see there, it came with a four-year suspension, which we didn't actually know much about at the time. We didn't know how long she'd be gone for. And all the time that she's serving now will be going towards that four years if she is found guilty. But and she has come out very strongly that she had no idea that this could happen. She's very careful about what she puts in her body. So that's what it seems to come down to. The fact that it was a prohibited substance in something that she consumed or ate, and it wasn't actually part of the label, that's the first part they had to prove. The second part is that Simona Halep know that this was in there, or if she didn't know. Because if she didn't know, if there was no intention to cheat or no intention to take the substance, and if there was no label or anything saying that the substance was in the food or the supplement that she took, then she'll be clear to play as soon as possible, I guess. She'll be back on track. She won't be playing the Australian Open, though. Let me know down in the comments below. How do you think this will play out? Do you think Simona Halep intentionally did this? She doesn't seem like the type of person to do this. She's come out very strongly, and she had a lot of support from a lot of people saying she's not that type of person. But that's the latest on the Simona Halep situation. Just waiting to hear what the lawyers all have to say.